Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I'm back with Orbital Potato for another game. Oh man, this this whole modded Supreme Commander thing, I dig it so much. Like, I'm six feet under right now. I, I'm that dug about it. Which is saying something, because we've had more technical difficulties getting this game online than any of the other ones that we've done. <laughs> you know what? I think technical difficulties are all part of the fun, you know? At the end of the day, you, you know that it's going to be worth it if you've if you've had to work to really set up the game. You know what I mean? There is some truth to that. I will give you that one. I I thought you would. Thank you very much. I appreciate you you conceding that point to me. All right. For those right. of you who have not seen this before, this is what is known as a survival mod. Basically, it's a scripted map where instead of directly fighting your opponents, there are four other people on this other side of the map, um, there are units that spawn in the center and flow in both directions. So you're fighting against waves of units ever increasing in strength and number, and you have to fight till either you die or you hit a breaking point and you can attack the other team directly. Basically, last man standing wins for their team. All right. It's, it's intense. It, it is... is very intense <laughs> oh man it's crazy like i think this is high blood pressure central right now i mean uh i'm quite nervous about this whole this whole business i'm not gonna lie i gotta get that little nervous. competitive atmosphere up it I, I don't it's very competitive it's not a little competitive it's it's the real dealio like it's serious stuff man kind of one joking. of those things where you're um it's non-stop action once it starts you just don't get a break mm-hmm Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. It's just constant. I mean, I even had to turn the volume down because it was just <laughs> so loud. So many <laughs> bullets! <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. Like, all the time. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a headache after after playing some hardcore Supreme Commander. But yeah, no, I can, I can safely say that before today's recording session, I had never, ever been exposed to modded Supreme Commander. But I can say... It, certainly it is very very cool this is very only the cool. first mod too which in my exactly. opinion this is the best one i really only play survival as a mod but yeah. there are some cool ones out there black ops some other ones we may explore some of those at some point oh man that'd be epic that would be really really cool i'm totally down for that so totally there is totally one down. other mod we're using actually it's called uh range defenses basically when you're playing a turtle game like this you run into a problem with, oh, I need to get some for, sort of upgrade here going because I am overflowing resources and that is bad. Um, you run into a problem with mobile missile launchers because they outrange T2 point defense. So unless you're UEF, you are in a real pickle. So basically it bumps the range of your point defense by 20, 25%, something like that. So it's a little bit more of an effective turtle war and it plays perfectly with the survival type gameplay. I would not mm. recommend it in the slightest for an actual game. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? I'm I'm cool with that. It's it's all epic. It's all cool. Your commander is like half health already. Yeah, it's okay. I'm falling back to a point defense. I won't die. I promise. Right, dude. Like you realize that if 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 you go, then I'm all alone. <laughs> Literally, like, are you sure that isn't overstated? There's other people I, on the team. I know, but all of the <laughs> units from the the left hand side are gonna come my way. And yeah, that would suck. Apart from Frank Sinatra, I don't think anybody liked him coming my way. No, no. Oh, oh, Plus music, music there. pun. What? I know, right? Me, music puns, crazy, right? Do you play an instrument? I'm genuinely curious. I do not play any instruments. I do not listen to music. I do not like listening to music. This is this is the whole. Uh, well, yeah. that was an unexpected response. I I'm not surprised. Are you into music? Do you do music? Do I play, have listen? played a fair bit of piano, actually. Yes, I do like music. Really? Okay. I and I am that. actually possibly going to die. Oh oh, who's who's the co who's the cocky one now? All right, like. Did I, did, Why did is I my engineer you? not building? Did I not warn you? Did I not? Did I not warn you of this consequence? Yes, yes, you did. I, I'm I going to try to survive. I think I'll be okay. You need. Uh, uh. Oh, that is so dodgy. 
That is so dodgy. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. I got a vet. I got a vet, so I'm okay. All right, I got two point defense up. We're good. We're good. No worries. Oh, man. <laughs> ah, I screwed up my build right off the bat, and I just didn't know where to go. <laughs> oh, man. That was intense. That was intense. Oh, my goodness. It's not over yet, though. Like, you're... You're still... Still pretty dodgy for health. Yeah, I'm getting I mean, the T2 upgrade at the moment, which will go as soon as my um, second power generator comes online. But uh -huh. yeah, it's I, I am fairly low. I think I'll have about 4,000 health after this upgrade goes through, though. So should be okay. All right. Okay. Well, as long as you're confident, <laughs> then that I'm pretty confident too. Okay, let's get some anti-air down because why the heck not? And then I'll get some tier 2 mass oh. in this game mode you don't um, there isn't actually reclaim there is instantaneous reclaim as soon as a unit dies you just get 50% of its mass value which is yeah. awesome because you have constant mass but then again if you aren't getting units then you don't have any income and right now all of the units are going to potato because apparently potato is tasty they all want to feast upon your wreckage. Exactly. Exactly. They want to feast upon my dead corpse. And I, I'm just going to stop there, actually. that, that I didn't that want to get that morbid, but apparently you went there. I, I, I did. <laughs> and it just sort of happened. Like, I don't really know why, but it, it just it just happened. Ah, it's all good. I've only, got, I've only got tech one point defense, so I'm kind of a little bit worried. I mean, tech one mostly deals with tech 2 I feel but oh, then yeah. you know ah, mm, mm. Yeah, especially you know. since we have um, especially since we have the range expand on I, I think yeah. it will do very fine now I am making screw up after screw up over here because I just built a bunch of point defense adjacents to power generators when I uh -huh. should have built a shield there uh oh derp could this be, could this be the end of it could this be the end of the Wombo combo that is Orbed Potato and Brink of Insanity? It'll be entirely upon my head if it is. Ugh. You know what? I, I've screwed up enough that, that I can I can take the criticism. So, you know, <laughs> maybe... <laughs> maybe it's time maybe, I had my fair share. <laughs> maybe it's time you had your fair share. No, I don't. No, maybe if it comes to it, we just charge into the heat of battle, you know, together. And just and just blow up and just wrecks menus. I just feel bad for all the people watching this because I know on the other side of the internet there are people going, cringe, break, how could you? That is such a terrible build. Yeah. It physically pains me to watch that happen. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes, sometimes, I, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta let the haters hate, man. That's uh, not not like they're even haters. They're just like normal folk, but. It's 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 all very well, you know, like commenting on a video and saying, "Oh yeah, you could have done this differently and whatnot." But at the same time, one of my favorite sayings is, "Hindsight is twenty twenty. Exactly. Right? Could is, not possibly agree more. It's it's my favorite. It's so good. All right, so I'm I think managing. I... To... Sorry, go ahead. No, you go. Well, I was gonna say I'm managing to take out enemy units with just. Point defenses, tech one point defenses, but that's about it. That's all I had to really say. Apparently, we're having some network difficulty. Oh, oh, more technical difficulties? More technical difficulties. Oh, <laughs> salvaged. There we go. I think I have actually salvaged this build somewhat. I've got shield gens up on either side of me, so I think the point defense is fairly secure. And I have slots for T3 shield generators, so I think I'll be okay. Could have been better. Okay, but I, I believe you. Eh. I, I, I'm going to take your word for it. Uh, not text for myself, but point defense, please. I'm actually mooching units off of Gabe Mass over here because my point defense can reach that far because expanded point defense range. Oh, it's so good, man. So good. Freaking tasty. So freaking awesome. Oh, it is freaking tasty. That's right. At least yours is kind of staying out of my range, so you're getting all of your own mass income. I'm kind of just yeah. mooching off of everyone around me. Like a displaced <laughs> hobo. <laughs> As opposed to a placed hobo? I mean, like, 
What? <laughs> well, a displaced hobo. I mean, maybe he had some form of home. A hobo is not necessarily homeless. Maybe he has a tent under a bridge or anything. But then if you displace the hobo, he has to mooch off of everyone around him because he no longer has any place at all to stay. That was a way more thought out analogy than I even thought possible. So congratulations <laughs> for that. That is the power oh of trying God. not to look stupid. Oh my, why? Oh, Jesus. It's nine minutes and we already lost someone. Why is this happening? Yeah, and dude, he's this like... This is like deja vu. <laughs> he's like 400, he's like... He's got way more levels than I do. I've got like way less levels than he does. <laughs> well, at least we got Seraphim for Givas, and he has a massive set of fortifications. So I don't think the collapse is going to come from that side. I think okay, I think good. we will be okay. Maybe. So you think the collapse is going to come from my side? That's what you're or saying. Or mine, because I am still failing. Ah, uh, you know what? I think collectively we're actually not doing that badly. Like, in all seriousness, I do not think things are going <laughs> as badly as they could. I, I've, I've got a little I've got a little hope for us yet. All right. Okay, and two, three, I guess maybe. Like I mentioned in the last one too, um, it's actually kind of deceptive because if you lose a teammate and you're killing all of their units as well because of the instant reclaim, um, you're actually uh -huh. getting double the mass income. So yeah, sometimes it can actually work out in your favor. And you should probably have your own radar, because mine is currently undergoing the effects of power stall. I have my own radar, but mine is also undergoing the effects of a power stall. <laughs> That's a bad thing to have happen to two people at once. Yeah, it must have it's... also been happening to Gia, because his radar was also down. <laughs> I'm not entirely surprised by that. It happens. It happens to the best of us. All right. Three simultaneous power stalls. I guess that means we're all in the same stage of the game. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so I need to immediately sort out my power issues. Yeah, I've got T3 having... B gen going down, which means that shortly there should be some overflow. Um, That's uh, a really maybe good a little bit. That there we go. That is a darn good idea. All right. I'm overflowing 2,600 now, so you should have something coming in, giving you more yeah, power. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've decided that I'd go down the route of building a butt ton of energy storages, so that seems to uh, be paying off because I've now got, you know, more energy to waste, effectively. Nice. Exactly. I think, I think it's pretty helpful. Gives you a nice little buffer zone. Yeah, I think, I think that's exactly it, you know? It gives you this little area in which you can sort of be a little bit more confident. You know what? We're, we're, we're engaging them at a fair distance. This is not, not unimpressive in the slightest. Okay, you've got a decent amount of shields. I've got a decent amount of shields. All right. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Although, Tech 3 is about to hit, and... I don't know if I'm prepared. Don't, don't forget, at some point, we need anti-air as well. Oh, yeah. That's soon, actually, I think. It's very soon, actually. Uh, so, do I want to get Flak or anti-air Sam? Is there any particular um, one better? Sam's tend to be a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to okay. have a little more stop and drop power. That's cool. I can do that. Alrighty build some Sams. You know what? I'm just deciding I'm going literally all in on, on point defense. Literally all in. Like, not a bad place 100%. to be. <laughs> okay, how is, how is Pink doing? Is the Pink... amount of projectiles on the map is quite frankly terrifying. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Pink is doing very well for himself, actually. Uh, I don't know, his shields are being knocked down at a fairly rapid rate. I can't get any units. Like, they're all either going to you or Gieb. Now that's... Oh, oh, yeah, that's that's a real shame for you, the fact that you're just sitting pretty there. Well, that means I don't have I, any mass. I don't know, maybe send an engineer across to him and build some point defense in front of his point defense so you get <laughs> his units. <laughs> Like, That's actually not? a brilliant idea. <laughs> I, I know. 
I know, exactly. I'm not gonna do it though, because that would kind of be an asshole move. <laughs> well, it would. But then at the same time, I think you might appreciate the help, in all honesty. Well, my point defense are actually helping right now. They're within reach of his stuff. Uh huh. So, okay. I, I think I'll just play it this way. All right, that's 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 good. I mean, I appreciate your you've got integrity, you know. You, you don't want to be a douchebag or whatnot. Well, maybe not completely, because I am gonna kind of build some s sort of closer, but I'm not gonna just straight up go across. Okay, that's that's good. Do you reckon I should I should try building an experimental unit? Like I don't know, like a fat boy or something. It would not be a bad idea. No. I think I'm gonna go I could for totally it. get away with that. I'm gonna give it a shoddy. I mean. I'm not entirely sure that it'll work, but <clears throat> it's worth a shot, isn't Pink it? Pink definitely needs help, and you definitely need more anti-air. My Sams are hitting some of your broadswords, but uh, yeah, T3 you gunships know, are not doing very good things to you at the moment. I'm, I'm actually not that worried, to be honest. They're they're only taking out my point my point defense, and it's only attack one, so okay, I'm not entirely. Not entirely bothered to be honest. I mean, and it's dropped. Exactly. All right, let's get some. Let's get some more anti-air. I'm gonna that build a thing. galactic colossus and send over to Gib because he looks a little bit hard pressed at the moment. I think that might actually be a really good idea. Yeah. It's already two thirds of the way built. Oh man. Oh, it's so good. Such a good mod. Where the Tech 3 Engineer, build, or perhaps, perhaps I don't build a Fat Boy. I mean, obviously, a Fat Boy is a good place to start, but perhaps I go for, like, a Maver, and I just target the enemy base down, and just <laughs> aid the bots. Well, I can tell you right now, you don't have enough power to do that. I, I obviously don't, but, you know, maybe, maybe that's the way to go. Do you think? You can maybe a little is. bit later, but the problem is, if you're not secure when you start to build that thing... Ours yeah. is going to collapse. Yeah. You won't have yeah. enough to stay on top. Oh, <clears throat> look, you, you got what you wished for. You're getting a lot more units now. I know. I may have <laughs> wished for too much. Yeah, I think pink's going down. I don't think you can recover from that, I'm afraid. I don't think you can... Uh, can't do anything about that. Oh man, this is intense. And I don't mean like in the camping sort of way. I mean the intense way. <laughs> man, no, that was <laughs> See, That was an equally that. bad pun to any that I've thrown down. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I got, I got halfway through that and I was like, you know, I've committed to it. I might as well finish out the joke, you know? There's there's no point in abandoning ship when you're 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 halfway through it. But I sort of regret even even starting it. Oh, Commander, don't be under attack, please. Shield, we need the shield back. Get the shield back. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is... This is so, so scary. I am wasting so much mass at the moment. Uh-huh. Oh, oh we're about to have a Commander go nuclear. And it's going to go right next... Nuclear next to your Galactic Colossus. Yup. Watch out. Why is he running over to your base? Tell him to run somewhere I'm else. I'm not sure. Uh oh, Tech 3 gunships. This is uh, less than ideal. See, I will definitely agree with you there. I feel that intrinsically, you know, intrinsically, all, all units and the success of our team is linked. You know? I, uh, I genuinely feel that it's linked. I'm about to fold. Oh, I'm about to fold two, man. I'm about to fold two. We can't all fold at the same time. Oh, oh yes, we can. No, we can't. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we, we can't can. do that. All right. Um, holy cow! I'm being pummeled. Oh, okay, fat boy. No, go in front. I want you to be the sacrificial lamb, please. I do not care if the fat boy dies. The fat boy is replaceable. Oh man, this is this is ta this is this is intense. Oh my goodness, dude. Holy cow. You have got a lot of stuff over there. That's the real deal. 
All right, fat boy, coming to the rescue. I'm sending my fat boy. Just focus firing him on the units right in front of my base. Uh, okay. I'm focus firing him. Okay. Although my fat boy is going to go down fairly soon. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get some tech two point defense. And I'm dead. Ah! No! <laughs> there was but nowhere Pink to run. Outlasted you. Pink outlasted you, man. Uh, only because he's a coward hiding behind my base. <laughs> <laughs> Calling him out. Oh my goodness. No, nah, he was he was the first to get hit by the overwhelming force of two armies. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Naturally hey, the worry. first to fall. I'm gonna carry it for us, boys. I'm gonna carry it for us. Oh, the other team got T three artillery. Oh fuck crap. Them. I was gonna do that I was gonna do that to them. They've but already I got it. I think it's Raptor Jesus. Oh, See, I told you. That's why I liked him on our team. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> jeez. He's got T3 artillery up that is now pummeling your base. Well, you know what? If he's pummeling my base, let's let him pummel my base, okay? Let's pretend that I'm okay with that, and hopefully he's going to finish up and kill the enemy troops, which means that he will eventually get overwhelmed. I, I think he directly targeted the T3 artillery to your ACU. Oh my god, really? Yes. That certainly yeah, looks like That it. one hit you. You were very, oh. on the very, very edge of the area of effect. No, it didn't, because you would have taken more damage than that. Oh. Ugh. You're just lucky oh the my. artillery is so inaccurate. Oh, yeah, but, but you know, but these this, this massive horde of units, I'm super lucky that this is a thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the hell? No! Oh, it's gonna land right on top of me. Okay, let's try and let's try and kite them around a little bit. See if the tier three artillery can I'm just waiting for you to take a direct hit to the face from that artillery. I'm gonna you know laugh what? so hard. Lol, you can see which dot is his ACU. Oh, seriously? Right, you know what? Let's walk into the enemy. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> if you had turned, you would have been hit he by that. Hit, he hasn't hit me yet. Like, not a single shot. That's so sad. It's good. It's great. Oh, well, man. not a single one of them went down. Or not an a defeat. single measly person. Oh, I could have done so much better. I hate myself for that early build. I made so many stupid mistakes. I honestly don't think it was you. You survived longer than half of our team. So So is that wow, a testament to the, to the rest of you being as good or is that a testament I, I got that backwards. Never mind. Let's yeah. let's just not make that <laughs> comment. My brain is melting out of my ears. Oh my god. Look at the they had the <clears throat> Galactic Colossus and experimental spider bots coming at them. So I seriously doubt their propensity to manage to continuously, you know, push back. That is units. a lot of T fours. Yeah, a lot of T fours. <laughs> yep. It's, Wowzers! It's pretty impressive. Yeah, I am the the most impressive thing to me by far. Oh, that was actually Hepco. Hepco got the artillery up. Oh yeah. That okay. artillery is what's impressive to me. It is. It like is. how they managed. That's an awesome build. Well, I, I, I want to say I did think of it like I, I, I did think of doing something similar except with the Maver, but I could have just I could have used that to attack three artillery. But yeah, no, I think it was really, really cool. So, yep, he's he's stopped all of his engineering stations. Yes. Strange. Probably to prevent Very power strange. stall. Would be Probably. would be my guess. Anyway, yeah. that is going to wrap up that game. Kind of sad when you lose that badly, but survival is a awesomely, awesomely amazing mod. You should all try it. Basically, you just have to download the map 
and the Final Rush Pro mod. They pair together to create the script that makes all of this epicness, and you guys should all try it. It is definitely worth a play. Anyway, we're going to end that there. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Orbital Potato, for joining us for another game. No bother. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.